Hey, I hope everyone's doing well as always. Uh, throw on the Grinch here. Uh, no Grin here today though, but uh, it is a Ron English piece, so uh, it called for the occasion. And uh, this is honestly one of my first pieces, uh, one of my earlier pickups, and uh, one of my favorite ones too. Uh, I know all of them are pretty much uh, some of my favorites, but uh, you know, be it being Ron English, uh, my favorite artist and stuff, uh, this is one of my more uh, favorite pieces. Uh, the paint, the actual painting itself, uh, this is what inspired the figure. So. Uh, yeah, like I mentioned with the South Park review, uh, a lot of times uh, I was excited for that South Park grin just because uh, I love South Park, one of my favorite shows, and uh, a lot of times before Ron English would drop a figure or anything, or artists in general, uh, they'll have a painting or a, a painting or a drawing of their figures, you know. Uh, a lot of times when you see these paintings and drawings, I know me, uh, personally, I'm like just hoping and hoping that, uh, you know, he actually comes out with a figure of uh, those paintings, so, you know, you should get out to the collection, and uh Oh, luckily enough, he did add this one uh, to the collection of Ron English pieces that we're so fortunate to look at and, you know, be able to collect. And this is what we have here, the uh, boxing brain here. And uh, we'll just go over the box. We got more Ron English's logo here, uh, propaganda, along with the boxing brain in black and white. Uh, some licensing here, my toy cube, and a warning label right here. Also mentioning that this is a collectible item, not a toy. So I can't even title this uh, designer toy unboxing because it's a... Uh, collectible item not a toy so uh yeah that, at the end of the day they're all collectible items too this one dropped on april 24th of 2015 so uh, like the daft punk bear breaks we reviewed this is another five-year-old piece we got here so uh five years old now um and still holds up still holds up really great piece as far as editions go this is an edition of 300 and uh there's there's two different colorways and we're gonna look at what we got here today uh both colorways come in the same box Man, honestly, uh, I haven't I haven't opened this this thing up in a long time. I displayed it once uh, once previously uh, and briefly too behind a uh, glass display case, but uh, since then I just haven't had it out of the box and honestly still smells pretty fresh. Uh, box still got that fresh smell. So um, yeah, anyways, uh, of the three hundred, uh, this is an edition of three hundred, and the rare one was uh, an edition of eighty uh, from what I was looking up online. And if we go ahead and look up the box right here. Uh, a lot of times when we have these unboxings, we see a lot of plastic case covering. Uh, this isn't the case for this one. This isn't, uh, we got some styrofoam casing here to go with the opening. And uh, this is also not a vinyl figure. This is made out of resin. So uh, slight difference there. Uh, when I was looking up, uh, you know, and, and then what resin is, uh, so, so similar to plastic, uh, only similar to plastic, only with slightly different properties. Uh, they share a lot of the same properties, but uh, the thing when I looked up at resin and stuff, uh, resin often has a more shiny, uh, polished look to it. So, and we'll get a look at that right here. Man, I'm struggling really hard to open this box. Honestly, I'm gonna edit it out, so you probably can't tell how much I'm struggling to take this thing out. But yeah, it's a struggle, honestly. So, uh, have to, have to, half this video is gonna be me trying to take this thing out the box, honestly. What it looking like, so. Like the Daft Punk and like the Daft Punk ones, you're probably gonna have to stand up to take this thing out the box. It's so tightly secured in there, so I'm not sure how we're gonna get this out. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I feel like standing's a trick. I feel like standing's the trick when it comes to opening these larger pieces. But yeah, empty box and then box are inside the actual box itself. Uh, this is it. A lot of suspense going on here. Uh, brand that box is going to have to take a break for the main appetizer. These are what we call appetizers. This is what you eat before you eat to make you more hungry. The main entree, I'm sorry. I <laughs> mean appetizer. What was going to say? But check it out. Uh, I'm actually going to open it like this. We'll just take this out. And you can see this. Uh, it's got like a little mold, the little mold encasing. Uh, so it fits just right. It fits perfectly inside. And uh, again, another additional layer of packaging here. Uh, we got it plastic wrapped along with the styrofoam wrap and, and the box. So they went ahead and took care of this very, very well. And when I did some more research on resin and the actual material itself, uh, they did mention that it's a lot more uh, sensitive than the plastic or vinyl figure. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, this is it right here. And it has some weight to it. It has some weight to it, honestly, too. Uh, when I looked this up online, it said that it weighed uh, five pounds, close to five pounds. I mentioned this piece came out in 2015 and uh, I was able to purchase this in the propaganda website. So uh, this was in Ron English's actual website. Man, I got to hold this thing with two hands, honestly. A great Ron English signed piece here. Uh, this is one of my earlier pieces that I got and it was honestly one of my favorites too for that reason. Uh, having the Ron English signature there just makes it a whole lot more special. And in the bottom we have more licensing here. 
uh, propaganda around English and Toiki, respectively. Uh, all the licensing there in the bottom of the figure, so it doesn't mess with the integrity of the art itself. Uh, we can just enjoy this piece just like that. <laughs> Without having to worry about, you know, looking at some licensing and stuff. So, uh, yeah, very, very detailed figure. And honestly, we can hear it. Uh, we can just hear, uh, as, we set, as we set this down here, we can just hear... Uh, we can just hear the material itself, honestly, that re hard resin. I'm going to put it right here close up so we can actually hear it. Uh, get, just to get you in a sense of, uh, you know, what this what this uh, is made out of. I'm just going to place this here. Maybe we can hear it. You hear that? And Poral here, uh, you know, as a little play on the branding uh, with, the, with the boxing gloves. They're typically branded there. And, uh, yeah, we have the boxing brain here. You know, art is subjective at the end of the day. It's all up to interpretation but um a lot of brain damage can come from getting hit in the head a lot so beautifully sculpted piece uh super detailed i did mention there was another rare chase figure uh, when it comes to this one um and that was an edition of 80. however i think that the red uh just captures the uh just captures the whole painting and the whole meaning a lot more i know there's black boxing gloves and everything but uh you know when it comes to the brain uh you know when we think of a brain uh and the brain itself it's a red brain so uh, this just captures the whole uh, art itself more a lot more for me and uh, the original painting is red so uh, this being original uh, this being the original uh, less limited version I'd say it's just uh, it was just a better version for me honestly just for me to pick up and I got the opportunity to buy it from Ron English's website himself and uh, have it signed and uh, when it coming down to retail 180 195 is what I was looking at too for the black colorway uh, from what I remember I think I paid close to 200 for this on Ron English's website uh, online I didn't go through my PayPal um, receipts it's been a while honestly but uh, from what i remember i paid close to 200 i think that might have been after shipping or whatnot but yeah i can go on and on about how boxing is just a just a good time to be watching boxing right now too uh unfortunately with all this covid stuff a lot of things get postponed and stuff like that and uh who knows what the who knows how things are going to go and mike tyson might even have that rematch with uh, roy jones jr so that's going to be crazy uh whew, who knows but uh no all in all itself uh just me being a fan of boxing and uh just enjoying art itself, enjoying Ron English's pieces. It just meant, uh, it just, you know, it all added up for me just uh, really, really enjoying this piece. And uh, we'll definitely get close-ups here too, this figure. I think you can't go wrong with this piece, uh, especially for that price point of uh, 200 bucks, 185. So uh, just close to that $200 price point. When you see a lot of these grins and blind bags come out for three to four hundred dollars, uh, it's uh, it's it's a great pickup, I would say. And it's definitely different, original, and um, yeah, very nice all in all. And you know what? Now that I got this resin uh, boxing brain, I think I'm gonna take out the uh, the Tweety brain uh, to come out and compare it honestly. And it's also red too, and it made of uh, vinyl, so. Uh, let me go ahead and get that out. We have two brain figures here side by side. Uh, not related to each other whatsoever, but uh, only in the sense that they're both uh, kind of a play on a brain design, you know what I mean? Uh, very nice, very nice. And we can just clearly see the difference between the vinyl and the resin figure. Uh, one of the characteristics, one of the qualities of resin is the uh, shine to it. It has a lot more shine to it. And we can just see that right off the bat here. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, the light's capturing that too. You can see the line just shining off that boxing green. Uh, meanwhile, a lot less shine versus... Uh, versus this uh, Mark Dean Tweedy here. There's just uh, night and day when it comes to that uh, shine, that glare off the light. I think that's an another great thing about pieces like this. Uh, it can really complement any other piece. And like the other Tweedy versions, uh, Tweedy Bird colorways we got, uh, it's just a lot uh, they're a lot different. They're not original colorways, but they complement a lot of other different pieces to the collection, you know what I mean? Well, thank you everyone again. And uh, as always, I always can't express enough how appreciative I am of everyone who watches, subs, comments, and all that stuff. Uh, subscribe if you are interested in this content too. It really helps me uh, want to, you know, just get me motivated to pull more videos out there for you folks. And uh, yeah, it lets me know that you folks enjoy this content. So uh, thank you everyone again, and I hope everyone has a great weekend. Stay safe and have fun. Thanks.